The team at Dungarees know the hardest workers pack the biggest appetites. They've teamed up with me, Chef Jonathan Collins from The Outdoor Chef, to bring you simple, handcrafted recipes for hardworking men and women. Whether you're hosting the big game or cooking for an entire campsite, maybe you're cooking something that you've recently hunted or firing up the barbecue in the backyard, we've got recipes that hungry people will love to cook and eat. Is there anything better than preparing a recipe using ingredients from your own hunt? Wild Game often gets a reputation for being gamey and wild flavored, but the techniques I'm gonna show you today in this recipe will make it palatable and your guests are going to love it. I hope you enjoy. A successful duck season will fill your freezer and your belly. I love cooking duck because it's got all that beautiful natural fat, but some of that fat has to be rendered off. Now what I've got in front of me is a commercially produced duck because I wanted to show you how to break it down. In case you didn't have just duck breast at your local market or store, we wanna make this extremely simple. This recipe you can see is gonna be focused on black cherries. Now black cherries and that beautiful duck fat, that is a match made in heaven. And I'm gonna be adding some port. So you can use wine, but port is a beautiful fortified wine. But let's get to this duck. The first thing that you have to do is make sure you've got a good sharp knife. Make sure you take it to the sharpening stone or steel. You're gonna want a really nice clean edge. And then what you do is you start right down the breastbone and you press your knife in gently and follow it through all the way to the back end. Then you just simply continue to cut. You scrape at times, but what you do is just simply follow those beautiful little lines that nature has in place. I'm using my razor sharp knife to press it off and to continue to separate that beautiful breast from the bone. You can see how easy it is to break the duck down. Now I clearly have two breasts and you know what? I thought we're doing the whole duck. Why not get the legs in there too? There's nothing better than drumsticks from a duck. Now, when you turn this over, the first thing you'll see is this little guy here. Now that's the tenderloin. Now that's something I'm just gonna take off because oftentimes it ends up being in the bottom of the pan anyway. So I'll take that off because what I want to do is I'll, I'll still saute those little beauties up, but what I'll do is I'll just saute them up separately and tuck them aside. Now this is the best way to trim that fat is upside down because you can see where the excess fat is. You can just take and just nick off whatever's extra. You can see there's a little bit extra here because what will happen is as you begin to cook that fat, it'll shrink a little bit. I'm gonna leave this up here because it'll kind of hook around. Now, let's talk about cooking. I've got a cast iron pan. I love using cast iron. Now you can use stainless steel, nonstick, use whatever you have. If you have the ability to get cast iron or if you have it, cast iron is great because it holds the heat so well. So I'm just gonna turn that on medium high. I wanna get it up to temperature. And then the key is with the duck, you always want to start with the presentation side down. When you're sauteing, you're going to kind of dirty up that top side. So we're going to start with the fat side down, begin to render it. And then when we're done cooking, we're going to make an incredible cherry sauce using all the flavor that's developed in the pan. So let's keep going. First thing to go into the pan are these legs. Let's have a quick look at how they're coming along. Oh, look at that. So you can see the beauty of cooking duck is that that fat protects the meat. This rosemary is gonna be flavoring the oil. 
and as it begins to cook, it's gonna render fat and render fat. Now to temper that oil, what I'm gonna do to keep the temperature straight, is I'm gonna tip the pan towards me, and as it renders, I'm gonna take that fat, scoop it up, and toss it on top. What happens is it starts to cook the other side, but more importantly, it keeps that oil from getting too hot. Let's check the progress of this beautiful duck. Now, the first thing I want to show you is you can see that this rosemary, it's really expired. We've used it. It's got all the flavor out. I don't want that to burn. So I'll just take and set that aside. Now look at how beautiful this is. And this is the technique that I was telling you about. You see how much fat is now rendered in the pan? With a heat proof glove on, I'm going to tip that towards me and literally take and toss that right up on top. It's a beautiful chef technique. And what happens is it crisps up the skin, gets rid of any moisture. The worst thing is to have rubbery duck skin. And in this case, it's gonna be crispy and delicious. Get in here quick. This is the best part of a pan sauce. Do you see all that color? That's flavor that would otherwise be left in the pan. Now with that chicken stock or vegetable stock reduced, I can go in with the pork and finish that process. Look at that incredible color. This is a powerful combination of flavors. The rosemary, the cherries, that pork. Now the reason that I slice the skin was to get the fat to render, but it's also so that it doesn't twist or turn in the pan, so that when I slice it, I get beautiful long slices. This sauteed duck breast and legs with black cherry sauce is a great way to enjoy Wild to Table. Thanks for checking out this recipe. You can download a printable version of the full recipe by going to dungarees.com backslash recipes. And don't forget to check out the other recipes in this delicious series. Until then, remember, in the kitchen, slow is smooth and smooth is fast.